Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to use our Air Copy to Clipboard plugin and HTML ID attributes to copy text on a click. Here I have some text, and when I click this button, copy text, I want to just copy that text to my clipboard. I'm also going to add an input over here so I can actually show you guys what I have copied. Now, to do this, we need to install the air, the air copy to clipboard plugin. Now that we have that installed, we can go here to copy text, and then under plugins, we can find this copy to clipboard board from static text and we can just paste in the text that we want copied. If we preview this I can just copy this to my clipboard so you can see that this is what I currently have saved and when I click copy text it changes to this. But the problem with this is if I want to change this text over here that change is not reflected when I click copy text because it's not actually mapping to this. So the way we need to do this is using ID attributes. To set this up, we need to go to settings and then general and scroll all the way down to expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. If we click that box, we then get this option at the bottom here, ID attribute. We can add in any ID, it can be a dynamic or static, I'm just going to say text ID. And then under visual elements, granted that you've already installed the plugin, you will see this air copy to clipboard. And we will just put it somewhere on the page, it's not actually shown. Then we go, we have to click use ID attribute, and then our target element ID attribute is just going to be text ID. One problem with not using something dynamic is that there is room for typos and that would make sure that it wouldn't work. Now here there's also this trigger element ID which is the ID of the element that when clicked wants to trigger this copying action. So that would be this button. So I'm going to call it button ID. And that is what I need to copy into this trigger element ID. Now we can preview this and this is what's copied and I can change this completely to hello folks. And when I click copy text, hello folks is what's copied. One last thing, let's try to implement this with a repeating group. Right now I have a thing called class and that class has a name and I have some classes that I added directly into the database. Let's grab a repeating group of a type class whose data source is a search for all of the classes in our database and that doesn't have a fixed number of rows. In each of these cells I want to have a text box that will display the current cells classes name. If we just go ahead and preview this, we can see that it is populated with all of our classes, and I just need to extend that box a little bit. Now I want to add a button over here. This can just say copy. Okay, so now we need to implement the same thing. By adding this into the first cell, it's automatically duplicated into all the other cells. Here's where it gets tricky. Our ID attribute needs to be something unique to only this text. And if we put in something static, that will be the same for all of these other text things, which won't work. So we need to instead choose something dynamic. And given that we could theoretically have two classes with the same name, I'm going to actually choose the current cell's index, which is going to be one for the first cell, two for the second cell, three for the third cell, and so on. 
and then I'm just going to add an ID after that. I'm going to copy that over here to our target element ID. Since they are both in the same cell, they have the same current cells index. So that will work just fine. Here I also have this button and I'm going to implement the same thing where I'm just going to grab the current cells index and then add button after that. And we can grab that into our trigger element ID which is again the current cells index button. I also need to check use ID attribute just to get this running. Okay, let's preview this. Here we can see that we don't see our little air copy to clipboard because it is invisible. And then I suppose I forgot to add an input over here so I can show you what's copied to my clipboard. I can click the how to draw and we see that reflected. I can click how to build an app with bubble and then that is what is in my clipboard. And this functionality can be used for a lot of things. One last thing, a common functionality is to be able to just click on the text to be able to copy it over. So I'm going to add that in. Over here, we set our trigger element ID to the current cells index button, which used to be the ID attribute that hinted to the button. But we want the trigger element to actually be the text because we want to be able to click on the text to launch this copying functionality. So on here, we need to change the trigger element ID to honestly the same 